Okay, we are gathered here at Ground Zero of what is really the worst residential fire of my lifetime here in Valentine Street that occurred on May the 5th. On May the 5th. And for me, th this presentation that we're about to do is more than just a good gesture towards those who are affected by the fire. But I think it sends a signal to the community and the entire country. Um, since the fire, now that the dust has settled and the coals have cooled, um, the total loss thus far is really the fact that 57 individuals from 21 families around here have been affected and 46 persons and 14 families have been displaced. Um, I have to say thanks to the government of Barbados through the Ministry of People Empowerment, the Ministry of Housing, various charities, the Eden Lodge Foundation, uh, Jabez House, St. Ambrose, um, Savi and those who really came together and now this morning the Sandy Lane Charitable Trust. The reality is that beyond the physical things lost here, there have been a lot of psychological impact and that is also something that we've, we've been dealing with. And I am glad for this gesture today, a very significant gesture today because a lot of the families have been reaching out. And while some organizations have been trying and government have been trying, we've always said this from the beginning, we are in this together. Government cannot do it alone. And that is why I salute trusts like the San Elian Charitable Trust, Eden Lodge Foundation, really to be able to pitch in. Because the, 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 the point for me is really how do we bring these families back to some sense of normality. They've already, some of them lost everything they have. And every day they have more and more requests. And I've been trying my best. And with this assistance this morning, I think it will definitely put us on a greater footing to get them back yeah. into a better place and get them back closer to where they were on May 4th, before what happened on May 5th occurred. What is it worth in terms of uh, money? Like, what else are you doing? Okay. The Sandy Lane Charitable Trust in the past have been um, approached when we've had community fires, and as the Minister quite rightly said, in the past it's been one, potentially two properties. So we have been approached on an individual basis, and we've been always been happy to assist. I think the reality is with the enormity of this tragedy is that we all sat down and realised that we couldn't do um, individual as in you know Eden Lodge came to us various small charities have approached us as the trust um, to help and we just felt that on this occasion because of the number of people, families and children that were affected, we should do it as a collaborative. We should actually get together and um, with everybody's assistance, we're putting the money into a foundation. Um, I'm delighted to announce, which is a bit more than the Minister thought, um, but we're actually donating this morning from the Trust 100,000 Barbados dollars and Derek Smith personally is donating mm. <laughs> excuse me another hundred thousand so the two hundred thousand dollar part today um, <coughs> I would like to think can be used for the the variety of families the causes um, not just the, directly for the community the, the families have been short-term housed elsewhere um, we need to use that money to find them a long-term solution and that to us is vitally important. We can't just keep moving this problem on. Um, we need to find these families. Stability for these children is all important and that's what the Trust is actually about. We need to get them back, we need to get them back into school and to feel safe in their own homes. So. Please make good use of this donation, guys, everybody. We're all here today, um, and we're all here today for the community and for the city of Bridgetown. On behalf of the residents affected here, and on behalf of the city of Bridgetown and the whole country, we really like to say thank you tremendously. Um, I knew this presentation was coming. I didn't expect, uh, like probably near close to a quarter of that. Um, but I had the opportunity to in interview all of the residents down to the last one last between last night and yesterday afternoon to find out what are some of the things that they need and we, what we recognize all the children lost all their tablets all the different things that need to be replaced and we had a lot of donation of clothes and we don't need any more clothes donations um, but food and toiletries can continue to come in but it particularly do bigger things that help them to get back to normal life and i think that that donation not i think i know that donation would allow us to get back there so i want to say thank you sincerely on behalf of everyone from the bottom of our hearts sincerely yes You're welcome.